outside. Outside. Here we are then, the final of Players Championship 17. And it was expected that there would be an Australian and an Englishman in the final of today's tournament. But not this Australian and not that Englishman. Simon Whitlock was a number one seed. He was knocked out early on. Michael Smith was a second seed. He was beaten in the semi-finals by Kyle Anderson, who's battered his way through to his first PDC final, hitting a nine darter along the way and up against him. He's Kevin Painter rolling back the years and perhaps on the brink of a huge day in his season and potentially his career going forward. I'm Chris Murphy. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm sure you are and I'm sure Dan Dawson is too. I cannot wait for this. Kyle Anderson, the original against the artist Kevin Painter. Anderson, a man who uprooted his life to move over from Perth in Australia. He's based in Nottingham now. He's got his family over at the minute, but he's, he's barely getting to see them. He's trying to make it as a dart player. He's broken into the top 32 in the world, but this is his first PDC final. This is a huge step for Kyle Anderson just to make this final, let alone were he to go on and win it. As for Painter, 50 years old, a man who has been struggling to even qualify for things like the European Tour events. Yes, he had a run to a semi-final early on this year, but in between, it's been first and second round exits largely in the Players' Championship Series. It's an unexpected, vintage painter display here in Barnsley today. Yeah, of course, some of the very top players in the PDC aren't here because of the World Series events coming up and a couple of them having babies, but there have been much higher ranked players in the tournament than this pair, especially Kevin Painter, who has kind of been in the dark in doldrums. 95. As you mentioned, Dan, his finest hour came back in 2011. That was the last time he won a PDC title. His biggest one, the Players' Championship Finals, went on to be in the Premier League the following 60. year. But since then, it's kind of been downhill for the artist, and this could prove to be a pivotal day for him. Yeah, it certainly could. Kyle Anderson. I mean, he's pretty much half. Kev's age. He's only 29, Kyle Anderson. 57. As I say, he's uprooted his whole life. I know he finds it tough. He talks very emotionally about how hard it is being away from his wife and kid. Well, the dogged determination of Kyle Anderson, who, of course, missed out on a place 60. at the World Championship through those visa problems that he had, C could have easily thrown the towel in, returned to Australia, but he doesn't give up. And he hasn't given up on this 148 checkout with Painter on 95. What a start from the original. Fabulous stuff from Kyle Anderson. 148 checked out on double 14. Is that setting the tone for this final here in Barnsley today? Am I right in thinking that Kyle Anderson, who missed out not only the World Championship, Players' Championship finals as well because of those visa issues, didn't Kevin Painter only get in the World Championship because Kyle Anderson was forced to withdraw? That is correct. You might say that. He's owed one from Kevin Payne to Kyle Anderson. Anderson, who reached this final with wins against Tony Newell, Nathan Aspinall and Ryan Meikle before hitting a nine data in his victory against Ronnie Hybrex. Then so off Stephen Bunting and Michael Smith, 6-3. Both of those matches, 6-3, to reach today's decider. It's only Aspinall who's really got close to him, and I saw that game. He was 5-1 or 5-2 up, wasn't he? And, and Aspinall came back, but you always felt the car was in control of that match. 43. It has looked in control most of the day. Had the privilege of commentating on a couple of his matches. 57. Yeah, and it's, it's got, theoretically, harder as the day gone, has gone on for Kyle Anderson. Three unseeded players, then the 27th seed, the 14th seed, Stephen Bunting, and then the number two seed, Michael Smith. Well, I did say 59. in the semi-final, he was in a strange position, perhaps, of never having reached a PDC final, but knowing that the other semi was Kevin Painter against Jermaine Watamina, and he would be the favourite going into it, should he beat Michael Smith, where well, he certainly wasn't the favourite. No, of course. 125. And it could be experience that tells in this, but Anderson has started strongly and doesn't need to use the bullseye here not going to get a shot at it anyway, so just wanting now to leave 
64. That's the best he could do after those first two darts. Kevin Painter, by contrast, has had a very strange route to the final, which I'll pick up on in just a moment. That's a wonderful setup shot. Sat on tops, looking to break back. Double eight for Anderson. 2 0 to the original. Crucial finish under pressure. Well, it's two clinical kills from Kyle Anderson, isn't it? A 148 followed by a 64. Superb start, no sign of nerves. Maybe, just maybe, That's Kyle Anderson is sensing that his moment has arrived. Yeah, well, just to pick up on, on Kevin's route to the final, beat Mike Dedeka, then he beat the number 28 seed Vincent van der Voort, a man who does have PDC titles to his name. 140. Anderson misses out on the first maximum of this one. Then it was Jamie Lewis, a man who's hit a nine darter today. Saw him off 6-4. Then he's beaten three seeded players, but it's gone number 12 seed Mervyn King, number 13 seed Gowin Price, surviving three match darts. And then the number 32 seed Jermaine Watamena. So in terms of the theoretical level of difficulty, for Kevin Painter, it's been all over the shop. It's not been your standard, typical progression through a tournament where the opponents supposedly get harder as you go along. Yeah, commentated on that match against Gerwin Price, and he did survive three match darts in a deciding leg. But what impressed 100. me about Kevin Painter was he, he stepped back, took, took a deep breath. Now, we've seen him do that on doubles before, but he did it before the whole checkout, 110 it was. And he completed 60. that combination to get the only break of that match in the crucial deciding leg. Well, he's very much second best in the early stages of this one. Kyle Anderson, treble 17. 57. Okay, well, he's knocked 57 off. He's left 64 again, and he took that out with absolutely no bother. Painter can still rescue this. If he hits, stays straight. Treble 20 and a single 20 will leave him a ton. Two data. Anything less than that. Oh. Well, Anderson looking to repeat the feats of the previous leg. Darting deja vu from Kyle Anderson. Back to back 64 checkouts. And he's romping away over this final. 3 0 to the Aussie. They looked almost in exactly the same holes in the dartboard as his previous 64 checkout in leg two. And Kyle Anderson, this is the clinical stuff that we saw from Kyle when he really started hitting his stride at the back end of last year. When he made the semi-finals of the Austrian Darts Open and he beat Michael Van Gerwen, he took out three bullseye finishes in that game. He should have beaten Phil Taylor, missed darts to do so in the semi-finals. That would have been his first 60. PDC final, had he done so. But it's that kind of finishing. When he's on form, Kyle Anderson, he can take the game to anybody. 96. Yeah, that was one of six semi-final defeats that Kyle Anderson has suffered in the PDC. The last of which was just a few weeks ago here in Barnsley. 6-5 again, wasn't it? That against Darren Webster. 99. But Kyle Anderson is a man who, I'm trying to make the point earlier today that when his first start's right, he just seems to follow it invariably. When I said it earlier today, the next start went in the big one. But <laughs> Kyle Anderson yeah. is a man who, before we started streaming these events, it was, uh, I have unconfirmed reports, that he averaged over 130 in one of his mm. matches. Yeah, one of the, a handful of players, you've got that incredibly high top ceiling of performance. Oh, and you hear markers and everybody saying, oh, this guy's just averaged... 125, 130 plus. But Kyle Anderson, we think, has the ability 100. to do that. And you only do that when you're finishing, as Kyle Anderson is doing so far in this final. Now, Kevin Painter, 100. the last final he was in was nearly four years ago. He played Kim Hybrex. He lost 6 0. If this 108 goes, and it might. And it has. Kyle Anderson is finishing flawlessly, and Kevin Painter may be feeling it's happening again. Hasn't missed a, a double yet, has he? 148, 64, 64, and 108 for a 4 0 lead for Kyle Anderson. Kevin Painter, well, we're not going to use the how's you look expression because we're going to take you back to the previous point. He snuck in the back door of the Alexandra Palace due to uh, Kyle Anderson's visa problems last year. Maybe Anderson is getting a little bit of payback 100. because 10,000 pound, Kevin, you owe me a bit of that. 
It could well be. I did wonder when I saw Kevin, he came through 100. a battle with Jermaine Watermaina. He hit six 180s in that game in the semi-finals, Kevin Painter. But at the end, the celebration, it was one of immense relief. It was arms up in the air. He was hugging the marker. He had to go and lean down and just catch his breath at the end of it. It looked like the weight of the world had been lifted off Kevin Painter's shoulders. And just a few moments later, he has to get himself up for the final. And I don't think he's been able to do it so far. He's put himself in a half-decent position in this leg. But he's already 4-0 down. And Kyle Anderson must just be feeling that he can do no wrong because it gets to the back end of legs and everything is going in. Well, it is one of those games, one of those strange game starts where you have to perform, win one match and then win another and win a series of matches throughout the day. Not just in these floor tournaments, but in some of the big TV events as well. Painter himself would have had to do it when he won the Players' Championship. As we see the World Series events... Kyle Anderson will be heading home to Australia to participate on the World Series. 60. What a confidence boost this would be ahead of those. He also qualified for a couple of European Tour events as well. He's having a fantastic weekend, isn't he, Kyle Anderson in Barnsley? But the point I was going to make, Dan, was that Mensah Sulevic, you did a, an interview with him that's available on the PDC social media accounts. Hang on a minute. We've seen this before. We've seen this before. Oh, but we don't see it again. Kyle Anderson misses his first dart at double. It would have been a second 148 checkout on double 14 for the original. Painter to steal this. Double 13 is the target. 80. Well, a return to the point. Anderson looks at double 14. Hasn't missed much. Hasn't missed by far. Doesn't miss again and leads 5-0. Kyle Anderson on the brink of a first PDC title in his first PDC final. A five-star performance from the Aussie. Kevin Painter, powerless in this one so far. And Anderson may well take Kevin Painter out of this leg. Kicks off 180. It's his first maximum, the first maximum of this final. And Kyle Anderson is not just looking to claim his first PDC title. He is looking to absolutely storm his way to it because that is five perfect darts. That is six perfect darts. And he couldn't, could he? He's left 1-4-1 one, for one, four the nine for a 6-0 win and your first PDC title. This is a man who hit a nine darter at the World Championship. He can do it. He's done it once today already. Well, Painter fires in a 180 for good measure. That one, earlier today against Ronnie Hybrex, was a fifth nine data Kyle Anderson's hit. He's not going to make it six, but he will not care if he makes it six legs. 47. Well, he's left himself a two data for the title. 100. Painter's down to 124, but 94 points is all that stands between Kyle Anderson and his first PDC title. Does he go double-double? No, he went for the trouble 54. 20 and missed it. Painter has got a sniff. It is a sniff. That is all it is. To stay alive for another leg. 14 is the target. Now it's the ball. And it's there! Kevin Painter does stay alive and celebrates. This final is not done yet. Well, sublime shooting from Kevin Painter. Superb stuff. Having seen Kyle Anderson throw his best leg of the match, let's face it, fired him back-to-back -back 180s to kick off. Painter takes out 124 on the, on the ball. That was a break of throw for Kevin Painter. Incredible scenes here at the Metrodome in Barnsley. Well, the job is not done yet for Kyle Anderson. 100. Well, the hardest double to hit is the one to win the match, especially the one to win the tournament. Yeah, the point that I was going to make, and by letting, letting Painter win that leg, by Painter winning that leg, they've allowed me to just develop it further. That kind of flatness, perhaps, at this stage that you were talking about. Mensa Sulevic said that to you about his European Championship. When he beat Phil Taylor, that was his final. Mm -hmm. And then he got thrashed by MVG. He kind of really didn't know that he'd been there. Yeah, well, he does actually say that, Mensor. And I was looking through the records because I was thinking that at the time. Mensor actually played a game in between that as well. He actually beat 60. Peter Wright. He'd forgotten about it. <laughs> He'd genuinely forgotten about it. But you are right. Getting Picking yourself up after a big, big win is very, very 100. tough.
Well, it's seemingly taken Kevin Payne to five legs to do that. Yeah. Then he's pulled out 124, rabbit out of the hat. And he could be about to double his 64. leg tally. Well, double top for 5-2. Double 10. And double 10 is there. And Kevin Painter, 5-0, becomes 5-2. He can only take one leg at a time. But already... He's now back in this final to an extent. I don't care what the scoreboard says. And that 1 2 4 check out in the bullseye suddenly becomes the greatest shot you've ever seen 54. if Kevin Painter does go on and win this. <laughs> it was the happiest I've ever seen Kevin Painter <laughs> after pegging that ball. But Kyle Anderson, there's a huge mental aspect to the game of darts. Phil Taylor tells you that it's the most important aspect of this game. And 95. It will be in Kyle Anderson's head that he has not won yet. But you've got to remember that Kyle Anderson has a whole host of titles down under. He has come to tournaments before on many occasions and been the best player. All right, he's not done it over here in the PDC, but he has won enough games and got far enough in tournaments to suggest he does have the game. Oh, he just hasn't had that feeling. And Kevin Painter, well, win, lose, or whatever, Kevin Painter is always good value to watch. But 104 for Anderson. Well, he went the yeah, old going price, treble 16 route. 52. Painter still bemoaning his luck in the previous visit, but it wouldn't have left him a finish anyway. So it's not that hard done by, but he could 85. be done in a moment. Has Kyle Anderson's biggest moment arrived 52 points required to win his first pdc title and Thank there it is that. kyle anderson an awesome display in the final <laughs> applauded by kevin painter a worthy runner-up fantastic day for both of these players painter in his first final for four years kyle anderson in his first final ever and picks up his first pdc title hit a nine data along the way what a story for the Australian before he heads home to compete on the World Series Tour. He'll be a hero in Perth, and he's a hero today. A nine-dart hero and a champion. And we're going to hear from your winner with Dan Dawson now. Here he is, Kyle Anderson. Through the day and then uh, today it just uh, it all came together you were suggesting you could go and do this for a significant portion of last year you made a number of semi-finals missed a chance to beat phil taylor and make a, a euro tour final when you had those visa problems and missed the world championship missed the players championship finals we worried that was going to affect your momentum your you know that that role that you'd built up it did affect it dan I mean, um, I was out of the game for a good two, three months in England. In, in Europe, I could play in Europe, but I couldn't play in England. And um, just, I got into it, got back, and I said to myself, you've got to, you've got to make chances of what you got. And um, today I made a chance. You won titles in Australia. You turned up to tournaments down under, and you were the best player on the day. How long did it take you? Did you ever doubt that you'd be able to do that in the PDC? To be honest, no. If you, if you doubt yourself in that proportion, you shouldn't be here playing. Um, like I said, everybody on this on this tour can do what, what I've done today. It's just a matter of all of us. Some of us get nervous, some of us don't. And the ones that don't get nervous, you see them always winning these things or getting to the later stages. It's uh, we just got to. I've, today I got nervous a lot, but the last out went in against Michael Smith. The um, last out finishes were were the killer for me today. Where were the nerves? Because it was a strange situation where, like your semi final, you were against the number two seed, Michael Smith, who's won a number of PDC titles, but you probably knew that if you won that game, you'd probably be the favourite in the final going into it with either Kevin Painter or Jermaine Watermaner. Um, to be fair, I didn't want to play Jermaine. I've never beaten Jermaine yet, and he's always he's just got something against me, and Jermaine just plays well. Um, so against Michael, me and Michael are good mates. I just thought to myself, if you score like you can, you're going to get chances. And I did score OK. I mean, I had a look at the stats, and uh, Michael gave me some shots, and I gave Michael some shots. But I, unfortunately for Michael, I took the shots out. You have made enormous personal sacrifices to follow your dream of being a dart player, Kyle. You know, you've uprooted your life in Perth, you're based in Nottingham. You don't get that much time with 
your family. I know that's been hard for you. Does today make it all worthwhile? Um, not all worthwhile. It's a stepping stone, of course. I mean, um, being away a long time, it's like a job. I've worked fly and fly out back home, but now it's just, uh, it's, you're here to make money and big money used to be made. You have had your family with you for the last few weeks now, that's isn't it? Sure. Uh, do you think that's played a part? Is it, is, is it easier to come and play darts when you're actually getting to spend time with your wife and kids? I think it's, I think it's more of a comfortable. My boy's home, he, I play Xbox a lot, so he jumps on and just takes control off me. So I've, I've had to do other things. And, uh, but um, no, it's, it's, I'd say it's, it's been good to see him for a while. You know, it's, um, but it's, it's come to win Sunday. And, uh, I'll see you in about two weeks' time. How does this compare to winning those titles down under? Because you're, this is elite level stuff. I know some of the top boys aren't here, but you know, look at the players you've been. Michael Smith, top ten player. Um, you know, you, you've put in some very, very good performances. Hit a nine darter today as well. Um, as I said before, Dorset, it's another tournament where we we rock up to play and make money. Um, you don't look at it as any different. Um, see, back in Australia, I was playing an Australian tour, so. It was a tour win. I'm playing over here now, so it's another tour win. Um, I can't look at it as a big stepping stone in that fact that as a as a big uh, big tournament as well. It's um you've got to keep doing this. No no matter of it can't be a one off. You've got to get to the later stages in a lot of these tournaments. Well, that's it. One more. You've won one. Now you've learned how to win. You've convinced yourself. You've shown yourself and everybody else that Kyle Anderson can go and win these titles. There's got to be more to come, haven't there? There has to be more to come. There's no, no got to be about it. It has to be. Um, the game against Kev, it was a good game, but there wasn't. There was times when I just didn't play very well. I've got to pick that up and do it well. My scoring today in most of my games was absolutely brilliant. It, it, that's what got me here. Not my finishing. My finishing was dismal in some games, but my scoring was actually there. Mm. Well, look, congratulations, yeah. Carl. Superb. Cheers, man. Uh, Kyle Anderson, a winner on the PDC Tour for the very first time, yet again on the Pro Tour. We're seeing... Guys who haven't won before or guys who haven't won for a long, long time. Carl Anderson joins that list. We will be back for Players' Championship 18 live from Barnsley Metrodome tomorrow from midday. 2017 has been a busy start to the year. It's pretty much an understatement, Paul, isn't it? Do as you're told, darts. Nine daughter, Michael Van Gerwen produces perfection in the final here in Wigan. Everybody who has the aspiration to be Michael Van Gerwen, be Gary Anderson, be Phil Taylor, this is where they have to start out. There are three components, the thumb, the forefinger and the middle finger.